pizza carbonara? Are you out of your mind? Yeah! This is a pizza with carbonara sauce on top and guanciale. You want to learn how to make it? Watch this video. Mm. Mm. To make carbonara pizza, we need guanciale. I'm using 50 grams of guanciale. Five tablespoons of pecorino cheese. You can use more, you can use less. Three eggs, and I use free range. A nice fior di latte mozzarella that we want to cut into cubes. Pepper, extra virgin olive oil, and you need pizza doughs. If you want to learn how to make my pizza dough, this is the recipe up here. It's a recipe for beginners, and you will be fine. Before we start preparing anything, we need to turn the oven on. So if you're using a domestic oven, put it at the maximum temperature, and I hope you have a stone, pizza stone. Otherwise, use baking paper. If you're using a gas oven like me, I wanna bring it up to 400 Celsius. Same if you have a wood fire oven. The first thing we need to do is to cook the guanciale, okay? You can replace guanciale with pancetta if you want. Now, you need 50 grams of guanciale without the skin, okay? So I'm gonna remove the skin, which is about 30 grams, and the rest is what we use. And see the guanciale, it's got a nice fat, meat fat again, so the top part will become nice and crispy. This will become nice and crispy as well. And this will, after this will become oil, and the rest will become crispy. See the flavors here of the guanciale? The flavors are there. Such an important ingredient. If you use bacon, you're not gonna get the same taste that you get from the guanciale. So I'm showing you the ingredients to make one pizza. If you wanna make two pizzas, you need to, you need to double it. Here we have a nice warm saucepan and we're gonna add the guanciale. Now the guanciale fat is going to turn into oil. That's the reason why we're not using extra virgin olive oil. If you wanna add the extra flavor, you can add extra virgin olive oil. Now I'm cooking this on a medium low heat, low, be gentle, and it's gonna take a few minutes for this to be ready, okay? We want the guanciale to be crunchy, crispy. It should be about five minutes, okay? As you can see, it cooks pretty fast. We're not cooking the guanciale in the oven, okay? The guanciale will be the final touch to the pizza, so make sure you, you cook it well now. And here we have it. The crispy guanciale, the pig chick, it's ready to be served. What do we do with the oil? We keep the oil because we're gonna add the oil in the eggs. A very important step is the mozzarella. This is a mozzarella that it came all the way from Naples, guys, all the way from Naples. So we're talking about quality here, okay? Do not use shredded mozzarella, please. Shredded mozzarella does not belong to a pizza or to any top quality food, okay? In my house, you will never see shredded mozzarella. It's plastic food that I don't serve to my guests or to my family. You can cut the mozzarella as you like. Look at the milk in there, see the milk? Look at the milk in there, look. Is that enough? Yeah, probably enough. Let's put some more. I want to be generous with the mozzarella. And here we go. Perfect mozzarella for pizza. This is where the magic begins. Let's make the carbonara sauce, come on. We want to separate, we want two egg yolks. What do you do with the white? Well, you can make amaretti, amaretti biscuits. And I have the recipe on my YouTube channel. Here's the yolk. Do. And here we have the entire egg. Here we go. Broom. Let's put the eggs. Let's put a generous amount of pepper. Quickly mix. Now what we want to do, we want to be very generous with the cheese. What I want to do here, I want to make 
a nice thick cream, egg cream, okay? It needs to be thicker than the normal carbonara because otherwise, when you put it on the pizza, it will go everywhere. Instead, we want this to be thicker. What we want to do now, we want to add the, the oil from the guanciale. Just in there, beautiful. Mix. Give the extra flavors, also helps to melt the pecorino. See how it is runny? We don't want this to be runny, we want this to be thicker, okay? So let's put more pecorino. Fantastic, I think we're almost there. Guys, you know that when you're having this pizza, you're gonna have a bomb, a bomb of happiness, okay? So please, don't be scared of the cheese because this is a cheesy, crazy pizza. See the density, see the consistency? See that? This is fantastic, this is what we want. So let's gonna put now the dough on, the, on a wooden board. What I like to do, I put flour on it, put flour, put the dough on the flour. This is very easy, okay? What we do now is very easy. We just press and then we turn and again we press. We don't want to touch the edges because we want the gas to go on the edges, okay? If you make my dough, you will be able to do this easy, easy process on your pizza, okay? Let's remove the flour. We don't want all this flour. The pizza should be stretching so easily in the pie now, okay? Yeah, let's remove the flour. Okay, no more flour. Okay, and now it's time to work on the pizza, okay? The first thing I wanna do on this pizza is this. I wanna put extra virgin olive oil first on the edges, just like that, and then in the middle. Second, I wanna put the pecorino in the middle, just like this. Nice amount of pecorino. Third, we're gonna put the mozzarella in the middle, okay? Not too much, this is just the first batch of mozzarella, okay? First batch, we're gonna put more later. Now we are par-baking this. If you use a domestic oven, you basically wanna par-bake it until the edges grow, all the edges. If you're doing this in the gas oven or wood fire oven, we kind of want the same. We want the edges to grow, but not fully cooked because the wood fire oven or the gas pizza oven, they cook so quickly in within 45 seconds, your edges should be puffed in the wood fire oven or the gas pizza oven. Instead, in the domestic oven, it will take at least three minutes to see the puffing of the edges, okay? So keep an eye on that. Now what we do is we get the pizza peel and put it on the side, you know, like on the diagonal. Uh, you move the pizza here. And we want to be quick now. We don't want the pizza to get stuck on this, okay? So we can now move this to the oven. The oven is at 400 Celsius. We can put the pizza in and cook it for about 40 seconds. See what's happening over there? Can you see what's happening to the edges? See what's happening to the pizza? See that? See it's puffed? What we can do now, we can take it out. We can take the pizza out. So what we do here, we par-baked, see we cooked the edges. What we can do now, we can add the eggs. So we add the eggs, egg mix on the pizza. The edges are puffed, so it's kind of safe, okay? You're not gonna be in danger. The eggs won't go anywhere. We spread the egg mixture everywhere. Just spread it. What I want to do, I want to add more mozzarella. More mozzarella on top. Be generous with the cheese, please. We're gonna put some pepper now and some more pepper later. Now we can put it back in the oven. So when we put it in the oven, we want this to be near the fire, the flame. So what we do is we put it there and put it back in the oven. Oh, guys, the pizza is cooking. The pizza is cooking, ladies and gentlemen. The edges are still cooking, still growing. And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the carbonara pizza, it's ready to be enjoyed.
Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the carbonara pizza. Oh, oh look at beautiful. Look at this beauty. What we need to do now? We need to add more pecorino on top. We're gonna add more pepper. And the final touch is the guanciale. Ladies and gentlemen, the guanciale is what you need. Be generous with your guanciale. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that. How amazing is this? Hmm? Here is your carbonara pizza, made with love. Carbonara pizza time! It's time to eat the carbonara pizza. Ooh. I've got my machete. <laughs> Let's cut it and see how the pizza is. Oh, beautiful. I just want you to see here, okay? The egg, the creamy egg. Look at that. Look at the egg over there. Look at that beautiful egg. Look at this wonderful pizza. You got a beautiful pizza. You got a melting cheese in there. This is beautiful, beautiful crust, beautiful creation. You really need to enjoy when it's nice and warm. Look how wonderful, look how beautiful. Mm -hmm. Look at this creation, I can just fold it in half and eat it. Look at this melting egg here. Oh, a carbonara on a pizza. Bellissimo, bellissimo. Look at that. Oh. Wow, 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 wow. You ready? Mm. 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 Crispy, look at the egg. Crusty on top, soft in the middle. Mm. The melting mozzarella. Mm. Mm. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia! Vincenzo's Plate!